Let's look at cropping in Affinity Photo. Cropping is achieved by using the Crop tool located on the Tools panel here. And we can access this tool either when developing a raw image in the Develop Persona or when editing a document in the main Photo Persona, which is what we will be doing here. So I will choose the Crop tool, and now we have the Crop window that appears. So to resize the Crop window, we can hover over any of these handles here and just click drag. And then to move the crop window around, we need to click drag inside the boundaries of the window. Now we also have some presets that we can use. We can access the presets by clicking the cog icon here and then just click on one to apply it. So for example, I'll click the one by one preset to apply a nice square crop aspect ratio. We can also enable snapping, which helps us when we're positioning our crop window. So we can enable snapping by using the magnet icon up here. Now watch what happens when I try to move the crop window to the edge of the document. It will snap to the edges, so I can snap to the top here, I can snap to the bottom, and then if I move my crop window to the left, it will snap to the far left as well. But I'm not actually going to stick with a custom ratio one by one crop. Instead, I'm going to change the mode to original ratio. And this is also quite a useful mode because it will use the original aspect ratio of your document before you started to crop it, but it will constrain the width and height so they can no longer be resized independently. Okay, once we have the crop looking good. We can apply the crop by either using return on the keyboard or by clicking apply up here. Now cropping in Affinity Photo is non-destructive. To demonstrate this, I'll move back to the crop tool using C on the keyboard and I'll check reveal up here on the context toolbar. There's our information that we've just cropped away. So if we decide that we need to recrop, we can easily do so by simply expanding the crop window to include more of that information. We also have these thin grey lines here, and this is a guide for the crop that we just applied. So if we decide to change our mind and we actually prefer the crop as it was, we can simply just move back to those original crop lines. While we're here then, let's look at the overlay options. So by default we have a thirds grid, and this is the rule of thirds. It's common among photographers as a compositional guide. We also have golden spiral. Now golden spiral is a logarithmic spiral. It has its background in mathematics and art. And generally speaking, you have the point of interest at the beginning of the spiral here. So for example, I can just move my crop down and in slightly. So here is my planet, and then gradually it spirals out to the rest of the composition. Now for the final overlay, I'm going to switch to another document. Okay, and then I'll bring up the crop tool again using C, and I'll switch to diagonals. So diagonals helps compositions where areas need to be perfectly centered or positioned on these intersecting diagonal lines. So for example, with this image, I'm going to bring the right hand side in and then bring the bottom up so that this circular window meets the top set of intersecting diagonal lines exactly. Then I can just commit my crop, this time by using return on the keyboard. Another quick way to actually undo the crop or uncrop is to go to document and unclip canvas. And notice when I do this, we get the original dimensions of the document back. Finally then, once again just selecting the crop tool, we can crop and resample at the same time. So on the mode drop down we can change this to resample. And here's a great use case. Let's say we want to crop and resize to a particular print size. So for units we can change this to inches. And here, let's say we want a 12 by 10 inch print. In width, we can type 12, tab to get across to the height and type 10, hit return. 
And then for the DPI, we want 300, which is considered optimal for print. Hit return, and you can see it calculates the appropriate pixel resolution here. So now I can just bring my crop window in, like so, until I'm happy with the composition for a 12 by 10 inch print. Then I can apply the crop again by using return on the keyboard. And notice on the context toolbar, it's also resampled my document to the appropriate pixel resolution for a 12 by 10 inch print at 300 DPI. So I could send this to print confident in the knowledge it will print correctly. And there we go, that was just a brief overview of the crop tool. Hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.